Hey everyone, I'm back. It's Keisha Charmaine. Now this style I used to do a lot when my locks were shorter. Back when I really just didn't know anything else to do with it. Um, but I'm gonna do like a variation on that style that I used to do. I used to do flat twists on the sides and just have like my little little baby locks into like a little mohawk and and cold of the day. That was that was cute to me. Um, so I'm gonna do that, but I'm also gonna do something with the hairs. My locks on top so so you know stay with me and you know we'll experiment so I'm gonna start off with a row above my ears just one row and basically the way I do a flat twist I just grab the two locks in the direction that I want it to go and in this case I want them to go back so I twist them together going backwards and then I grab the following lock which I believe is this one uh -huh. and then I twist that into it and then I make some of a somewhat of a three strand twist and keep going. And then I add the next one. And this is as far as I want to go. So once I add this one into the four strand twist, I will rubber band it. I'll but I'll grab a lock and I'll rubber band it close to the root so that it stays back. So I'll just grab it, a random lock back here. Not too tight, not too loose. So now, I'm going to do it to this side. Bag. So how are you guys doing? How are your holidays? I know the holidays can be a, a stressful time for a lot of people. And in my field of work, my line of work, man, tell me about it. I've come up with a bunch of tips on, you know, how to beat the holiday blues. It sucks to be down during the holidays when everyone else is cheery, or at least pretending to be cheery. Listening to Christmas carols, watching Christmas movies and Christmas reruns of your favorite episode. Sometimes that could be like really triggering. Okay, so next row. When it comes to being down and depressed, now I don't mean actually clinically diagnosed that depression. That's you know, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a psychiatrist, so I'm not going to give you that sort of advice. But if you are in a mood, you know, depressed, you're going through it, but you're not, you know, it's not debilitating, it's, you're, it's still able to function. If you're going through that sort of state of being sad during the holidays, I suggest that you take some time to stop thinking about you. I know that's hard, like you live inside of you, how do you not think about you? I just mean, if you focus on helping or giving other people who may be less fortunate or other people who just need a lending hand, you put your energy into that and that on its own is medicine. That really helps. It can really help if you start to make a new tradition. Start a new tradition, something that you do with yourself. Maybe it doesn't even have to be anything spectacular. Maybe just decorate your, your room. Try to read a book a week. Go on a trip solo or with a friend, you know. Do something new. Just do something new. Basically what I want to say and try to do this new thing every holiday season. This, and this, the new thing has to be something that's gonna, you know, lift your spirit. That's the whole point. That's the whole point. I'm doing the third and last twist on this side. Okay. Now, I got this idea from Shira J from Sugar Free TV, who I've loved for years. I've, I think I've been watching her since like 2009. She has two channels, I'll link them both below Sugar Free TV and Synchronicity Studios. Um, she and I, I f were like here in my head because like we're both on like the same wave regarding like love beauty, you know, but we still are conscious and working on growing our consciousness and our spirituality and you know, there's not a lot of YouTube channels that focus on spirituality and beauty. So, you know, I really appreciate her. So, yeah, and um, she has a video, I'll link it below again, and um, in the video she's discussing creating a vision box and in the vision box you 
put things in the box that are like I guess goals, things that you want. It's supposed to help you manifest. I took I'm taking that idea and I'm mixing it in with the idea that I got uh, a few years ago. Tanya TKO, another woman here on YouTube who I admire and love to watch. She brought the idea to my attention of creating a gratitude box. Now a gratitude box or a gratitude jar is where you know you put little pieces of writing in there of things that you're grateful for and you know you do that daily and I would like to add those those ideas together the 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 vision box with the gratitude bank it was called the gratitude bank and put them together not necessarily in one box or jar but I just mean doing both of these things I feel like can really help you beat your bummy blues you know what I mean like okay I'm gonna take some hair from like right at the top and I'm going to like play around with making some faux bangs so I think that if you focus on whatever it is that you want to manifest for your vision box as well as focus on the things that you should be grateful for and focus on the things that you're doing for other people so maybe that's three boxes three jars yeah so I think that that's a good idea and I'm going to I think I'll make a whole separate video for that but um yeah I think that's a really good idea for you to you know consider to help beat your blues and I feel like this this will be effective no matter what time of year it is it's not just the holiday thing so now I'm like basket weaving my locks along the top of my head just to like secure the full bang situation that I made. Let me make sure I figure out how, how exactly I want it. I think I want it to the side. But this is cute so far, right? I like it. Oh, let me secure. I, I just made a basket weave, but I want to make like a little tie so that it definitely stays. A loose tie like that. Bong bong bong. Yes. I think I'm done. What do you guys think? My hair feels long today. Make sure you subscribe if you don't already. Check out my website. Check out the links below in my description box. Leave me a comment. Thumb it up. So that's it. I hope you like the hairstyle and I hope you, you know, take my advice if you need it. And let me know how that works for you. Yeah, I think I'll make a separate video dedicated to the gratitude bank, the vision box, and the giving. I'll come up with a nice name for it. But, um, yeah, stay tuned. And thanks for watching. Love, light, and locks.